Uh, morning, senior one. I am Teacher Adi. Um, I'm going to take you through English language again. Uh, let me hope that you're fine, whatever you are. And uh, before I actually begin this, I'd like to uh, yeah, inform you about uh, COVID-19. COVID-19 is real, so please always carry your mask on. And uh, whenever you're going to meet other people, even if they are your family members, please uh, make sure you put on your mask. Yeah, and for me, I'm not putting on my mask because I'm in the room alone. But uh, if I'm moving out, I make sure that my mask is on. And you can see that I'm carrying it. So please, uh, we want you to be safe. We want you to come back here when you snap. We still love you as our sons and daughters, you know, as our students. So please, uh, mind about being safe. Okay, today, we are going to have uh, our second lesson, the hard one yesterday. So this session here, we're going to look at something very common in our lives. And what is that? It is called the WH interrogatives. You know, I, even if I actually don't write it down here on the board because I know you're having it on your screen. We have our, our session. Uh, we shall be looking at the WH interrogatives. WH interrogatives. Now, someone will ask himself or themselves that what are these WH interrogatives? Well, before even going to the WH interrogatives, let us find out or let us first look at uh, the main terms on this uh, topic. Now we are seeing WH interrogatives. Now, what does the word interrogative mean? The word interrogative mean it it is uh, it means asking or donating a question or forming a question or making an inquiry. You see, making an inquiry. There are so many WH questions, so we can actually uh, uh, to make this. To make this uh, very clear, we can uh, just we can just uh, say that uh, the WH interrogatives is simply WH questions. It's WH questions. So now that is our introduction. We've looked at uh, the meaning of the word interrogative, and then we've also we've said that interrogative simply means asking or denoting a question or asking a question or making an inquiry but then what kind of inquiries are these what kind of inquiries are these when they say wh as you have it there uh, wh now let us use instead of using the word interrogatives let us use the word Questions, because it is a little simpler than that, but they are actually the same. They mean the same. So, when we say that uh, interrogatives or an interrogative simply means asking or inquiring or denoting or forming a question or creating a, a question, but what kind of question? Because we have so many kinds of questions, but here it is now we are. Uh, specifically looking at WH questions. WH questions are simply questions that begins with the WH words. The WH words. Let's first look at uh, what we have here. Now, first of all, uh, before we go um, further, in this lesson, you know, in this lesson we have the lesson outcomes as you're looking at them there and we are told that by the end of the lesson, you, the learners, you should be able to apply the WH 
question is collective. What does that mean? That after this session here, you should be able to form those WH questions. You know, uh, in your daily conversations, um, in your examination papers, you know, in your daily lives. So, you should do that. So please, just pay attention. And I know this will be so easy. This will be so easy for you. Now, they are telling us here that WH are used in sentences that ask questions. I think I talked about that in our uh, in our introduction. That interrogatives or oh, an interrogative simply means asking. Now they are telling us here in our notes that WH is a WH question is or WH are used in sentences in sentences that ask questions, you see? So, probably you are going to look at the interrogative sentences, or the questioning sentences, or the inquiry sentences, you see? So, there are so many other uh, types of sentences, but here we are now looking at the WH of the uh, uh, inquiry questions. Now, they are questions that start with WH. I've already talked about that. That this kind of questions, because even in the questions, among questions, we have different kinds of questions. You see, there are questions which um, uh, we have yes or no questions. We have uh, questions that don't begin with uh, with uh, W H. Yeah? For instance, someone can ask you, "Are you done?" You see, you see. So there are so many. Someone can ask you, "Is Ali your name?" See, that is not a W question. Now, these questions that we're going to look at, they begin with the WH words. Let us continue. The question is requires, no, they are used, they are used to find out information about something or someone. But these WH questions are used to find out information about something, like a school, like an organization, like a chair, like you know, some other thing. Or someone, you know, like Ali, you know, like you, like your parents, like anyone. So, so these questions are used to uh to uh, uh they are used to find out information about something or someone. The questions requires specific information about time, place, reason. A reason for name of something or an action and way of doing something. You see, these questions they are asking for specific information about someone, about something, and in terms of time, place, reason for name of something or someone, or an event, yeah, stroke, an action, and way of doing something. Yeah, they can be asking you about how to prepare rice. Someone's asking you, how can I prepare rice in a better way? See, how? See, how? Are you saying that? Anyway, let us first go and then look at this. And then, the thing is that the forms of interrogatives are, see, we have who, we have uh, why, we have when we have whom we have how see um we have whose we have we have what See, we have which, see, and uh, probably those ones. See, so who, where, why, when, whom, whose, which, what, and how. Please look at that last one. How? See, because we are calling them WH, but um, that last one begins with just H, not a WH. But it is also under that category. So don't be uh, disturbed by, you know, is this real, uh, true? It is. It is very true. And uh, please take that from me. 
how is under to the WH once. So our WH interrogatives or WH questions, they always begin with the WH ones. And the WH ones are here. Who, why, when, whom, how, whose, what, which. See? Now, we have examples here um, of uh, the WH questions. I want you to look at these examples, or let us look at them together with you. The first one is asking a question, and is asking, why did you come to school late today? Why did you come to school late today? I think that it is beginning with why. It is beginning with a WH word. So that means that that is a WH interrogative, a WH question. And just as you know that every question must have a question mark at the end, you see, to signal that actually what you, uh, uh, the, say, the type of sentence that you're writing is a question sentence. We have example two, where we have, how are you? You see, these are the things that we normally do in our daily lives. How are you? So probably you've been using this and didn't know where it belongs or where. Now where it uh, sits in terms of grammar. Now, know that every time you're asking someone how he is or, or, or when they're asking you how you are, know that these people or you, you are using a WH kind of interrogative or question. Now, we have number three where we have, um, what is your name? You see, this is a common thing that we usually use. You know, in class, you know, in a hospital, in banks, you know, when you meet a stranger, you know, when, when, when uh, someone is talking to you, first of all, they have to first ask you, what is your name? Just in case if they don't know you. And then, uh, number four we have, when did you arrive at school? So just imagine, you know, uh, maybe you reported back at school, and uh, you meet this friend here, so you, in your conversation, along the way, you can ask them, you know, when do you arrive at school? And then they tell you. So remember, you're asking for specific something or information. So that specific uh, information, for instance, in this question here, it is asking about time of arrival of this friend, or the friend is asking you. See? Then, uh, number five, we have where do you stay? You see, where do you stay? Someone is asking you uh, about the specific information about where you stay, where you live. You see, uh, then number six, who has not handed in her work? You know, probably this is a teacher asking the, uh, the entire class. Uh, he wants to know those people that have not handed in their work. And these are the things that actually happen every day in our lives, in our schools, in our classrooms. And then number seven, we have, which of the two girls is your sister? Which of the two girls is your sister? You know, you can have uh, friends or people that actually somehow resemble you, or you can actually have a friend and a sister, and then someone doesn't know who is your sister and who is just your friend. So they want that specific information, they're asking you, who is your sister? So they are asking you to specify now who's your sister and who's the other one so that is also uh, a wh question and now uh, in our examples there is one word that is not actually represented but i still i can give you an example of that and that is whom you can also uh, have an example number eight as whom do you wish to see whom do you wish to see, see? Whom do you wish to see? I think that whom do you wish to see? So um, this is also a WH interrogative or a WH question. You know, someone is asking. Just imagine, yeah, you 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 go to a hospital or to a school, you know, to this summer or to 
uh, in, in, a, in a place and maybe you meet someone like a secretary or a person that works in that place and then yeah, they ask you whom you wish to see please you see they are asking you because uh, for, for, for that specific information of uh, the person that you would like to see or to meet mm -hmm. uh, we can also have another another uh, one beginning with whom you can say whom do you love you see whom do you love that is it okay so those are the examples that we have on the HW questions and then here it is something that is uh, that is detailed about these uh, questions you know how do we make you know how do we arrange these questions how do we create them from the above examples we note that WH starts the question you see now this is the formula of you uh, is this a formula that I'm giving you that can help you to create this W question is that if you want to create this inter uh, WH interrogatives, then the WH ones must begin the sentence that you want to begin. You know, we've seen the examples of these WH ones. So you can, depending on what you want to ask, you know, if it is a person, you know, you've seen whom and you've seen who, if it is a uh, something that you'd like someone to reason, you know, you can ask why, if it's about time, when, just like we've seen in our, in our fourth example here, when did you arrive, you see? If it's about um, uh, 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 something that belongs to someone like who's, you see? If it's about um, something which or what, you know? Okay, like, you know, what, what, what color is your book? What color is your book? Hmm? Which class are you in? Which class are you in? Right? Such questions. So here they're telling us that if you if you want to create the WH interrogatives or questions, you must begin with a WH word. And the WH words are here and actually on the screen you can see or you can do them very well. And then so you have to start with a WH word and then it is followed by an auxiliary verb. An auxiliary verb. The, we have examples here of auxiliary verb, but I'm going to explain to you what an auxiliary verb is. So we have um, uh, is, can, there, do, did, have, uh, we have has, had, we have shall, should, we have will, would, and uh, many others. Now, what is an auxiliary verb? What is an auxiliary verb? An auxiliary verb is simply a helping verb. It is simply a helping verb. I'm going to give you an example. That uh, in um, every sentence, in every sentence, you must have what you call a verb or a main verb. But some sentences, to be correct, they must have two verbs must have what we call a main verb and then um, a main verb and uh, a main verb and uh, a helping verb what we call the auxiliary verb let me give you an example here before we go to, to our our to our 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 very h questions and i'll show you how we have this you can have a sentence right so just like she is, she is playing. She is playing football. Yes, yeah. don't ask you something like she is playing football. Yes, some women actually play football. You now, if you are well informed, they play football very well. You no, know? even better than us. Some of us. Okay, now, she is playing football. You see, you can see that, you know, we have two verbs here. Someone's going to ask you, like, where, is, where are those two verbs? I will tell you, okay, that there is this obvious one. Playing, you know, because it is an action word. Or what you, uh, you were told in your primary, primary schools as uh, the doing verb. I mean, the doing word. But this is an action word. Now, that is what we call 
um, the main verb in this sentence. But before that main verb, we have a helping verb, which is is. You see? Or the verb to be. That is a helping verb. Now, this helping verb, why is it called a helping verb? It is because it helps this uh, 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 main verb, you know, to bring out the meaning very well. In which terms? Now, just imagine if we didn't have is, and someone said, she playing football. She playing football. You know, you would actually get the meaning that maybe there is certain uh, female who is playing football. But there is something that is lacking this, and actually that will make it somehow ungrammatical. So, this one here, a helping verb, it helps to polish the, the grammar. It helps to polish the grammar of, of, the main, of, of the sentence. So, when it is included, you can say, okay, she is playing football. So, that is a helping verb. Now, let us go back to our WH questions and we see where these uh, auxiliary verbs are. Look at question Look at question um, two. Look at question two and three. So let us begin with three. What is your name? You see? What is your name? What is your name? So you can see that. Uh -huh. What is your name? We have an auxiliary verb here. So, which is the is. So, after the WH, after WH, uh, we've been told that our next move we have to, after WH, what? In, in, uh, when we are following w, uh, WH questions or interrogatives, uh, after WH, what? The auxiliary verb has to come next or to follow that. Okay? Now, uh, you've told us here, mm -hmm. and then when you go back to question two, how are you, you know, how are you, mm -hmm. if someone is only asking and says, how are you, how are you, of course you understand, but there is something lacking, so we add in, ah, how are you, such that the question or the grammar in this question is uh, very correct and um, okay now so we we've you you uh, uh, our formation or our format our format of uh, the wh questions we've said that uh, you begin with wh wh word then followed by an auxiliary verb and then the, the auxiliary verbs the auxiliary verbs, we are seeing that we have am, um, we have are, uh, we have is, we have can, we have there, did, uh, we have do, we have have, we have has, had, shall, should, will, and would. You see? And then, the last part of our questions, then the doer. So you have to include the doer. The doer, that is either you or I, this, you or I. Yes, so I, you, they, she, he, we, and lastly, the rest of the action. You see, and then they are telling us that uh, this W, this WH interrogative or question must end with a question mark because it is a question. You see, so that makes it appear uh, um, in a very grammatical way and is actually inquiring or asking for something. Then we have activities here. Uh, now, activity one, they are telling us, they are telling us that uh, in your exercise book, write down five questions of your own using, of your own using any of the WH words given in the production. You see, that's the first, uh, the first, uh, uh, Activity in your own in your own in your own words create or form five WH questions 
and please write them down. Now, I'm going to uh, uh, give you my five, and then you will actually uh, give yourself your five. Um, so, we had... Only five. Mm -hmm. So these are my five. These are my five. I can say to teach you. That is one. Two, I can ask you. What is the time? See? Three. How is your mother? Then a uh, five. Why are you crying? See? Then lastly, um, when do you teach senior one? <clears throat> I see. So, <clears throat> whom do you prefer to teach you? What is the time? How is your mother? Why are you crying? Uh, when do you teach senior one? See, those are my five. No, you, I can, uh, you can actually even go beyond this. Now, these are mine, please. I'd like you to write in your books, write your five. You can even write more than five. Now, the second activity second activity we have here is uh, we are going to write down WH questions which match the specific answers the specific answers given in the sentences below see as you're looking at your screen you're seeing those uh, sentences uh, uh, sentences below that activity now they're asking me here I bought oranges at the market, I'm going to answer for you only one and then you answer the rest. I bought oranges at the market and then two, we have, they arrived at two, uh, two o'clock and then number three, I am standing because there are no more chairs, see, and then number, uh, number four, he is sweeping behind the head teacher's office. And then number five, I peeled my token with a knife. And then number six, I prefer eating rice to sweet potatoes. I think that. Now, how do you answer these ones? They are telling us that you should write the WH questions uh, responding or uh, <clears throat> The WH questions are referring or trying to 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 to, to match the specific uh, answers that are uh, uh, below. Now the first the first sentence is I bought oranges at the market. You see? Now it is asking for 
it is asking for uh, probably a place. So maybe your question would be where I'm trying to answer where and I bought the other place at the market. So probably your answer would be um The sentence is, I bought the oranges. I bought the oranges. Now, so you think of uh, a question that matches with this kind of answer. I think that you think of a question that matches with this kind of answering. Now, I bought the oranges at the market. Maybe someone was asking them where they bought the oranges. For instance, where where did you buy the oranges? Where did you buy the oranges? See? So I think um, this is how we can uh, answer these questions. Um, I'd like to stop here. I'd like to stop here at this session here. Let me hope that you benefited from this session. And I wish you a lively day. Please stay at home and be safe. Thank you for watching me. This time to the next time.